Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Chelsea Football Manager. I was going to say FIFA career mode then. Um, we're playing Football Manager again, obviously, and we have started our um, season with Chelsea. In the last episode, we put this team together, looking really good indeed. We've got some transfer targets to look at. Um, but the first thing I want to do here is remove the offside trap because the flags on the pitch were actually annoying me. Now, in this episode, what we're going to do is set our players to their more... Uh, natural positions and their preferred roles and uh, we'll change their attack support defend things like that so let's go ahead and start with Peter Cech in goal here so obviously he's going to be a goalkeeper not a sweeper keeper to be a sweeper keeper you need to be quick you need to be like Lloris so uh, we'll go with him there with um, with Ashley Carr I'm going to go with complete wing back with John Terry I'm going to go with a central defender and make him defend Ashley Cole I've only got him as attack um, same with who I think he'll be just a better at central defend at central defence. Um, as Piliqueta, I think I'm going to go with a complete wing back, the same as Ashley Cole, so he will attack. Now Matic will definitely be a ball a ball winning midfielder. That's what I want with him, and I want him to to defend. Um, now with Ramirez, a box to box midfielder or a ball winning midfielder. I think box to box. I'm going to have him support. That's a good one to have. William on the right. Shall I have him as an in, inside forward? and attack or shall I go with an advanced playmaker or shall I go I'll go with winger for now we can always change these around um, Hazard four stars man what a beast I think I'm going to go with a advanced playmaker and have him support or shall I make him no I'll make him attack for now and um, I think I'm going to go for advanced playmaker with Oscar and make him attack Eto I think I want to go with wow he's got so many options there I think I'm going to go with maybe a poacher I think that's where he will be best. He's not a target man. He's not big and strong. I think he'll be more just sitting in that box, waiting for crosses to come in. And that means being a poacher is definitely what we want him to be. Right, let's keep going through these things here. Registration, just check everyone is done. There we go. It looks like we had a few that weren't actually. Interesting. Just double check that's done. In terms of tactics, let's go to team. So we want fluid and attacking, we've already done that. We've done the instructions, let's do player. So we've done those as well. Set pieces, who do I want taking set pieces? So at corners, I don't want to aim at anyone. Free kicks, I'm not too bothered at the moment. Um, how do you, ah, here you go. So for throw-ins, we've got Azpilicueta and Azpilicueta. Uh, free kicks, so drag players onto a list. Taking free kicks, let's have a look. Free kicks, is that free kicks? Let's just double check. Yes, it is indeed. We've got David Luiz, 14, Lampard, 14. Look at Lewis Baker, 16. What the hell? How is he so good? <laughs> That's crazy, but I'm going to go with Hazard there, and I will go with Oscar in second. There we go. And the same again on the other side, like this. There you go. Corners, I want Hazard take him. He's quite short. He's not going to score any headers, so that's what we'll do with that. With penalties, I think... Wow, look at Frank Lampard. Damn, son. Um, look at Lewis Baker. Why is he so good? <laughs> that's unbelievable. I'm going to have to play him. Let's have a look at his potential. Potential of three stars, is that it? It's not It's not awful, but you know, I wasn't expecting his stats to be so high like this. Um, Hazard will be the main penalty kick taker, and I think I'll put Eto as second. I, I'm quite surprised that David Luiz is, you know, so good at all of these things. I, I, think, I think 50 million, first of all, for David Luiz is insane, but I think he is such an inconsistent player. It's so strange. He was awesome at the World Cup, and then all of a sudden he crumbled towards the end of it. You know, it's, it's such a weird thing. I, I really don't get what's going on there. Um, the other thing that I'm struggling at the moment with is I've made loads of, um, you know, inquiries, I guess. And they're not here. No transfer targets, nothing. It's like it's forgotten about the players I was looking at. Uh, but anyway, we're going to continue. We've got a friendly coming up soon. We've got Fabregas responding to Mourinho's interest. Um, so where is his... I'm not really interested in the move to Chelsea. It would need to be a very good offer to even tempt me to join them. <laughs> there you go. Well done, Fabregas. Although I'm pissed off at you still. That's interesting. So it doesn't look like it's going to be easy to sign Fabregas. And to be honest, he's not the main guy I want. I want Costa and Luis. So there you go. Uh, Monk, don't care about him. 
They want Ake on loan. Interesting. Dortmund's Blaszczykowski. Um, this was someone who my... I think it was... Oh, it was my chief scout has said that I should look into him. I don't really need him, so we're not going to go for that. Same with Farfan. We don't need a right midfielder at the moment. And here is Atletico's Diego Costa report. His potential is great. It really is. So I'm going to add as a transfer target. Um, I can't make an offer just yet, I don't think. Right, here's the same with Felipe. His potential's actually gone up now, and his, so is his current ability. So I guess that goes up and down quite a lot. Let's go ahead and add as a transfer target. Barcelona Fabregas report. So he's basically as good as he's going to get at the moment. Um, he'll be regarded as an important player for the team should you decide to sign him. Hmm... The fans' contempt towards this player is a factor that would have, be t have to be taken into account. So he obviously knows he's, you know, an Arsenal player in the past. Um, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna re remove him from my shortlist because I don't want to do anything stupid here. Right. So Ake has had a loan offer from Cat Catania from the Serie A, and they're gonna give me a hundred percent of wages. He'll be a valuable first team member and playing at centre back. So let's go ahead and view this offer. Um, oh, hang on. Have I? I haven't. I've decided not to do this, haven't I? So, my um, my staff will get this done. But I'm very happy with that. He can go. That's absolutely fine. My transfer targets are still here. So, what do I want to do? I think. Hmm. Have I? Have I changed something here? I want to be negotiating with this. So transfers incoming. Handles new signing contract negotiations in your youth team. So I should be able to just make an offer here. Hang on a second. Let's go to transfer targets again. Um, why am I not able to just make an... In uh, hang on. Hang on. Let's go to Diego Costa. Transfer. Make an offer. Right, okay. So 25 million. What do you reckon? He's indispensable to the club. This could be difficult. I'm going to go ahead and suggest terms isn't acceptable Jesus he's gonna be expensive isn't he let's go up to 30 wonder if I can add a player as well add damn it didn't come up with anyone there so I guess I can offer Fernando Torres question is, is how do I do it um, I haven't done this before actually exchange player right so I'm offering Fernando Torres let's bring this down again let's try 20 because Torres is worth a bit, you know, come on. Let's go ahead and make offer. Right, so we're going to wait for that. It says, Michael Emanio handles incoming transfer activity for your players you place on the transfer list. Oh. Okay, well, either way, Felipe, let's go ahead and make an offer for him. Make an offer. 9.5 million. Let's go ahead and suggest terms. It's not acceptable. Let's go for 12, make offer. There we go. Let's continue and see how that goes. We don't need to be looking at that. The friendly is coming up here against Volin. I have no idea who they are, but there you go. We've got loads of emails. Right. Dilemma for Farfan. Diego Costa, tempted by Chelsea. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, don't need to look at that. Felipe out with a training injury. Four weeks. God damn it. That's frustrating. Um, right, we beat our under-21s 2-0. That's good. And that isn't too important there. It's just an injury to left-back Adam Unditi. It's an interesting name there. But it's good to see we've got our first preseason game and a win. Right, so make Atletico an offer for Diego Costa. They've rejected the 20 million part exchange. So I'm going to have to go for a bit more. Let's see if I can go up to 25. Make offer. Let's see. Right, match preparation. Yep, that's happy. Gant accepts Arsenal offer. There's the Volin scouting report. So we need to go on attacking movement. Let's go ahead and set that then and continue once again. So far, so good. Prepara preparations for the season going well. Rejected again. Um, so if I suggest terms, yeah, it's not, I can lock that in, go up to oh, 29, let's just see, right, Atletico will settle for a deal worth 15.5, so I can do monthly installments of 3 million, 
If I bring it down just a tad, like this, not acceptable. God damn it. Make that offer then. Let's see. Lazio except for Kandreva. Aki set to go out on loan. Right, that's good. Ake is out on loan. He will be getting some vital game time because he will definitely be a star in the future for Chelsea. They've really got a gem there. And obviously a FIFA legend this year. Chelsea's Diego Costa bid rejected once again. Oh man, this is crazy. Suggest terms. Not acceptable. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that. And I'm just going to straight up offer 35 million. I think that's as much as I'm going to get, really. Uh, right. So, Ashley Cole is out injured. He'll be out between 12 days and 2 weeks while he's treated. Fair enough. That's more than enough information that I need to know that signing a left back is very, very important. Right, Atletico have rejected. So, I'm just going to have to offer them what they want. 15 million. Suggest terms. Isn't acceptable. Ugh. I'm giving them what they want. I'll make the offer. Maybe there's a bug. I don't know what's going on there. Bentner signs a new Arsenal deal. What? No. <laughs> that isn't true, surely. Oh, that's awful. The under-18s have won against Crawley. That's decent. All right, okay. They've accepted for Diego Costa. Whew, 35 million. Damn, son. So, goal bonus. 18.7k. Damn, son. That is so, so expensive. So his existing contract, he's only on 48.5. Surely I can dra drag that down just a bit and he'll still accept it. Um, agent fee, I'm happy with that. Contract length, I'm happy with that. If he's top scorer, he will get 450,000. Let's suggest those terms there. Okay, he wants a bit more than that. Let's go down to 90 and bring that down to four. Okay, suggest terms. Yes! Get in there. Let's finalise that deal. 35 million. It's roughly how much he cost in real life. So that's interesting. Right. David Louise be out for two to three days. Rejected again. <sighs> Let's go ahead and add just a little bit more then. Suggest terms. Isn't acceptable. Why? Why is it not acceptable, you bastards? I'm offering so much money for him. God, they, they really do want to rape me, don't they, at the moment? Look, rejected again. What is going on with this signing? It's just not happening, is it? Let's remove that and offer straight up 15 million. I can do that. Let's go ahead and see if that works. Right, let's accept Diego Costa. Fantastic. Really happy with that progress. It means we've got our striker now. And um, Torres is still on the bench. And we've got Eto. And we've got Lukaku out on loan. So we'll get him at the end of the season as well, which is brilliant. So there we go. Let's ask Captain to <laughs> to welcome him passionately. It'd be great if you could take the time out to welcome Diego Costa. There we go. Thank you, John Terry. Thank you very much. Right. Anything important here? We've got scouting updates that I'm not too worried about at the moment. Ah, another one rejected. They've rejected everything so far. Let's see if that works. Still not acceptable. What is going on? I don't get it. Ah, oh, it's mental. Right, keep it going, keep it going. We can get something. We've got a few players out on injury again. Injury prone FC or what? Here we go. Diego Costa to be unveiled by Mourinho. Passionately, I'm pleased or I am delighted. That sounds better. I am delighted to welcome. What impact, if any, will the signing have? I think it will be a lift or it will be a massive boost. Um, it will be a lift to everyone. Let's go for that. You must be hoping that Diego Costa will play a big part in any success we have in the future. Yes, he can make a big contribution. I don't want to be too confident. It could backfire. Matches can be won and lost in a single moment. I have the utmost confidence that Diego Costa will win this club points on his own. I certainly hope so. We'll go for that. Will this signing see you change the tactics you employ? Um, I don't want to reveal any tactical decisions in public. Lol. No way am I doing anything like that. You caught many people off guard with, off, uh, off guard with the signing. What was was it hard to keep the deal under wraps? I don't want to discuss internal things. Passionately, apparently. Does this deal have much of an impact on your transfer budget? Calm. 
Um, the bank isn't completely empty, but still definitely took a chunk out of the budget. Um, there's still enough left to get a couple more players in. Or No, I'm not going to discuss finance. They're such cheeky bastards, aren't they? The public will want to hear a proper answer from you. Will this signing see you change the tactics you employ? I'm always looking at ways to improve the side. Do you think it will be a problem that Diego Costa doesn't speak English? Um, hmm. Moving to a new club is full of little difficulties. Let's go with that. Yeah, Fernando Torres, who speaks Spanish, will be, be helping Diego Costa to set up the club. Um, yeah, Fernando would be happy to help. That was nicely done. Well done, Matt. So let's go ahead and put him into the team. Look at this. Diego Costa is in. I'm going to go with a target man attacking. Let's just double check that he is registered. Where is he? We've got Diego Costa there. So let's put him in. Can't really do those guys. Okay, confirm selection. So Diego Costa has been uh, registered. What number will he play as? That's the question. Uh, Diego Costa. He wants 22. What's with 22? Why would you want 22? That's That's weird. Player reaction. Player has reacted badly. What? Why? Why has he reacted badly? I must have said something that upset him. But either way, guys, we've made the big signing. Diego Costa is up front. Next is Felipe Luis. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll bag him.